Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you were able to hear some of the sounds out here. Uh, I'm on the property of St. Leo the Great Catholic Church in Roberts Cove, Louisiana. It's a, uh, a German settlement that began in 1881, I believe. And uh, it's one of those spots here in Acadia Parish, Louisiana, that uh, I mentioned in some videos before that I was going to show you. Um, I'm smoking Mac Baron Scottish blend mixture. It was given to me by a relative who uh, didn't particularly care for it. And I said, well, I'll give it a try for sure. It's a, uh, it's a nice aromatic blend. I believe Burley is the, uh, the, the highest ratio content of the blend. And I'm smoking it out of a refurbished Calabrese that I bought with Mark from Tobacco Pipes International. Great pipe and my initial impression of the blend so far is I like it. So I mentioned Acadia Parish and you may be wondering what is he talking about? Well a parish is the equivalent to a county and all the other states is just uh, some laws and ways of the state operate under the older Napoleonic laws. And we've decided to maintain that uniqueness. And personally, I hope they never, uh, I hope they never call it anything else but a parish. Yeah, so Robert's Cove here was established in 1880 by a, uh, a priest, a father, Thavis, and his brother and nephews, and they were fleeing a certain part of Germany that was hostile toward Catholics. So that's how they ended up here. Every first weekend of October since 1980 there's been a German fest and uh, it began as a large family reunion right here in the spot I'm, I'm standing in the historical marker says over 6,000 people were gathered here and uh, I remember as a child growing up in Catholic school that there were quite a number of descendants that I went to school with and they would always talk about German Fest and how much fun they would have and it certainly is a good time. It's a, it's a good blend. I like it. I don't know that I would smoke it every day but uh, it's a good blend. And uh I don't know if you can see far out past the tree is uh, the, the, uh, the farmland you see right now there's rice on that farmland and it, uh, they also farm crawfish every other year. They'll rotate. So uh, that rice I believe is almost uh, ready for cutting and I'm looking over the adjacent field right where I'm at there's a soybean crop planted there um, I was hoping there would have been maybe a crop duster around they've been active but uh, none today I love it out here I come pretty pretty often I'm gonna make an attempt now I'm gonna pick up my phone I'd like
like to give you a, a look around. A little chapel, a little prayer chapel right here. Look at this oak, look how beautiful. Maybe in the distance you can see the rice dryers. What I'll probably do is uh, might make a, a couple short videos that fall under the shorts category. The mausoleum. It's cloudy, but it's a relief, I tell you. It's been so hot. Yeah, so hopefully all are doing well. And uh, hopefully I've in given you enough of a short introduction to uh, maybe look up Robert's Cove and uh, and read a little bit about it. It's just beautiful out here, peaceful. My favorite spot, my favorite spot close to home. Hope everyone enjoys a good day and uh, I appreciate you watching and commenting. And uh, we'll, we'll do some more videos. We'll, we'll have some more fun, share some stories uh, y'all have a great day. Peace be with you all.